Hello, and welcome to Messy Dude Mancer. Today I'm going to be playing Carpe Diem. I saw this on Steam, it seemed like a pretty cool short visual novel, like a half an hour long. I was like, yeah, I might as well. So, uh, let's start seizing the day. She's late. I've experienced some problems lately, and we weren't able to hang out in a while. I managed to get things working so I can spend time with her. But it is only temporary, and I don't know how long it will last. Hey, Jung! Says I. Oh, sorry, did I keep you waiting? Says someone from Frozen. Yeah, for about a half an hour. A guy's supposed to say, not at all here, you know. I didn't know that. I wasn't notified about this change in society. They didn't bother because you don't know who you're gonna follow anyways. They know you're not gonna follow her. You're dang right. So where do you want to go? Oh. Okay. Well, me being the usual nerdy self that I am, though I'm broke, I'll go to the arcade. Uh, I know a good arcade place. Wanna check it out? Sure, I've never been to an arcade before, so I'm interested. Really? Don't you like games? I do, but I usually play at home. I think you like it there. We'll see. As we walk inside the arcade, our eyes are filled with amazement and excitement. Man, look at all those retro arcade games. Awesome. Hey, Jung, look! She points at a crane game. That, apparently, the direction what you're supposed to do in those games is pick up little puff balls of various colors. But cool. I was always loving cute things. I want that big spider plushie. Are all of them spiders or are all of them just like weird bubbles? I don't know, I like that. And she finds spiders extremely cute for some reason. I try to reach for a coin in my pocket. Wait, let me do it. I want to get it on my own. She pulls out some coins and starts playing. The plushie has all her attention. Her first try barely touches the thing she wants. What are you even trying to get? Hush, let me concentrate here. She manages to grab it, but still no luck. Ah, it fell! She inserts another coin and tries again. My hard-earned money. And again. And again. This crane is broken! Of course it's not. Here, let me get it for you. I'm not good at crane games myself. But I've gotten to show off somehow. Got it! Thank goodness. Wow, how did you do that? Easy. I prayed to all the gods I know of. And of course, I can't say that. It's all on the timing. This is a fluke, right? Of course, I immediately stop when I see her holding out a coin. I will just keep quiet before she asks me to do it again. I hand her the big plushie and she hugs it tight. There, there are some racing games over there. Wanna try it? I'm not very fond of those. I'll just watch you. Okay, I'll just play a couple rounds. Not a big fan of racing games either. I just like the setup in the arcade. They're almost completely enclosed and the seat tilts according to the game. That feels real. I stands behind me and watches as I play. As expected, I lost the first round horribly. Wow, Jung. Are you even trying? Bystanders do not get to talk. She plays with her plushie as I continue my game. Then again, I lost. Ah, just as I thought, this really isn't my thing. If only they have this kind of setup for a completely different game. I chuckles as if to mock me. <laughs> I think you'd suck at whatever game it is. Is that why you could never win against me? Oh yeah? Why don't we sell this once and for all? She points at the fighting game arcades. Some gold Street Fighter. I love playing these when I was a kid, so prepare to get your butt kicked. I accept your challenge, Missy. Finally, a game I can play with her. It's not really a date if I'm the only one having fun, right? Practice game, I don't know the buttons yet. 
as we have not played this game in a long time. We sit across from each other and her voice is all I can hear. Spend the first round trying to figure out what every button does. After trying some combination, my character accidentally hit hers. No fair! Don't hit me yet! Hurry up. I can't wait anymore. Just one sec, how do I... Oh, never mind. Oh, there you go. Come at me, bro! The battle begins. We're not so into it that I forgot how many rounds we did. We are more or less evenly matched. I won half the time and she wins the other half. More importantly, I get to see the side of her I rarely see. <laughs> Why did I do that? Strangely enough, it's a side of her I find the cutest. The buttons are not listening to me. I only see her like this when I play with her at home. Which only happens once or twice before. HA! I won. Beat that! I'm just trying to keep up my laughter and while listening to her. They play one round after another. Hey! No fair, I wasn't ready! The more she plays, the better she gets. See, I've beaten you three consecutive times already. Screw this! She laughs and stands up to stretch. Hey, Jung. Let's go grab something to eat. I was just thinking the same. We, we already here. Let's go to a small diner near to act after the cafe is Cade. What are you getting? She looks at the menu for a bit. An order of beef udon and tempura. Cool. I guess I'll get the same. I find the table while waiting for our order. And the first thing she asks is... Where is my food? Looks like playing games really tired I out. Patience is a virtue. Patience will not fill me up. Complaining won't either. And then her order arrives. Oh look! It did. She chomps on her food like there's no tama. It did not take a while for her to finish it. Ah! That was... Hitting the spot. Rejuvenated? Definitely. That took all my energy. Well, at least you had fun. Yeah, but we still need to pick something less active now. How about the park? I'm cool with that. I am down. Here's a good spot to sit. It's, I'm surprised it's a bit chilly to fight the sun be directly on top of us. Yeah, nice weather indeed. It's so nice outside and you still like to stay indoors the whole day. Hey, I'm no different, so it's fine. Outdoors is nice, but indoors is nicer. She giggles a bit. How have you been? Same old, same old. And you still eat instant food, don't you? More or less. Oh, come on, Jung. What nutrition can adding hot water give you? It's fine. You're learning how to cook for me anyway. Sure. I'll serve you my specialty dish. Burnt rice balls? Yeah, every day. You'll kill me. We haven't seen each other in so long that I have a lot of things to share and ask. I don't even know where to start. Are you still living in that torn down apartment? Yeah, but it's a bit better now that we've renovated a few things. I think my greatest worry about that place is the people though. Most of them are old people. They should move to a safer place especially if they're living alone. One good thing about I is she could be talkative. It saves me the trouble of trying to keep the conversation alive. I just ask the question and she'll manage to talk for hours about it. How about work? How has it been? Total mess! It probably will continue to be. My boss gives us impossible tasks and most of us are pretty much fed up with it. Ah, I've quit already due to that and the rest are demotivated. Then there's Troy, my co-worker, who would slack off until the last minute. He's such a troublesome guy. Makes things harder for us. Sometimes we'd even ask our other co-workers to do his part. I listened to her while noticing how much expression changed since mentioning that Troy guy. There's this one time we got to the process is all mixed up so bad because of him. Our boss was furious that time. And Troy... She paused mid-sentence and stared at me. What? Oh, I see. What is it? Oh. 
You're jealous, aren't you? It's written all over your face. What are you talking about? Anyway, so what did this Troy guy do? See, the tone of your voice gives it away. Leave me alone already, you baka! Come on, admit it. I stared and waited for her to finish laughing. What happened to the job offers you got from the other company? Oh, then, I turned it down. I need to be relocated for that job. I don't really want that new settlement and lifestyle for just a bit of increase in income. It's not worth it. That's fine. I bet you get another job offer soon. Maybe even closer here. Who knows? No. You missed me that much already. She really enjoys making me admit embarrassing things. Yes, so I can try the burnt rice balls already. They continued talking and laughing about random things and totally lost track of time. She suddenly stops talking. I'll be back. She stands up and walks toward the lady giving away some kind of flyers. She grabs one and waves it at me as she's walking back. They're having a firework display later. We should see it. Yeah, I know about that. They do that every year. Let's go then before it gets crowded here. Oh, don't worry. I know I got a good spot to watch the fireworks. This guy's crowded too. Takes a bit of walking to get there, plus to go up the hill. The sun just set when we arrived, so it's starting to get dark. Hey, look at this. We're already here. It's just there. Wow, you're right, this is a good view. Right? We sit on the bench and wait for the show. Not long after, dots of light shoot towards the sky. Slowly flayed and bloom like flowers of different colors. The cheers of the crowd at the foot of the mountain can be heard. Ice face is filled with happiness just watching the fireworks. I wish this could last forever. But I'm running out of time. She looks at me with a sad look. It's time, isn't it? Almost. Don't worry. It won't be long. It's fine. You really shouldn't bother hanging out with me. Don't say that. After all, I'm just... Have you heard of the Turing test? It's an evaluation of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligence. Whether it can act or speak like a human. But however good a machine becomes, however indistinguishable from its humans, it will never be an actual human being. Just like I. No matter how good a program is, no matter how much I deny it myself, she will never be real. We aren't in the same dimension in reality. She will continue to dwell inside that artificial world that I created. Ah, the program crashed again. As expected, it couldn't go any longer than that. I really need to come up with a stable fix soon. What am I doing with my life? Huh. Well, that's a little spin on the usual tale of visual novels. Hmm. That's pretty cool. It's basically just telling you to seize the day instead of spending it on like a virtual world. Because no matter what it is, it'll never be as good as the real thing. So I'll, uh, with that uh, motivational ending there, I'm going to be going. So thank you for watching this. And goodbye.